Antibiotics have saved countless lives since the discovery of penicillin in 1928, but their indiscriminate use means some diseases have become resistant to existing drugs. Why is that happening? Gerard was visiting Greece with his wife Yoke when she had a stroke. Things took an even worse turn when, at a local hospital, she got an infection which made her treatment much more difficult. She was hospitalized at the nursing home where they found she was carrying a dangerous antibiotic-resistant bacteria. She had to be quarantined along with four other people who by that time were also infected. And although she didn't have any bacteria-related symptoms, it was very difficult for her because her friends and family couldn't come to visit and many people were afraid of getting close to her. Antibiotic-resistant bacteria can be life-threatening, particularly to people who don't have a good immune system. The so-called superbugs are very difficult to get rid of, and their origins are still unclear, a crucial question being investigated by a European research project. These bacteria can cause urinary tract infections or bloodstream infections, and they can all be very dangerous for a patient who is very ill. And if a bacterium is resistant to antibiotics, there's also not a lot of treatment options left for clinicians to treat these type of infections. Clinicians warn that the problem is rapidly growing in Europe, especially in southern European states. The problem is probably caused by overuse of antibiotics and poor hygiene in hospitals. This problem is of such a size that it needs a concerted action of many things. First of all, antibiotic usage should be more rational and restrictive. Second, we need better hygienic measures in hospitals. And third, in the end, we will also need new antibiotics to even treat these bacteria, because they won't go away. Some bacteria have developed resistance to naturally occurring antibiotics over millions of years. But how has this resistance evolved in bacteria that cause diseases in humans? Resistance is coming from nature, and we need to understand why these resistance uh, genes can move from bacteria that live in the soil or in water and can move to bacteria that can cause disease in humans. So we, do, we don't really understand that. Uh, if, we know, uh, if we understand that process, we can develop interventions to stop the spread of antibiotic resistance. So how do we defend against invulnerable bacteria? Researchers in Paris are developing one method. When a patient takes some antibiotics, they work efficiently until the residues reach the colon. There, they needlessly kill lots of good bacteria, clearing the way for resistant bugs to spread. There's an extremely important bacteria population in the colon. We even say there are more bacteria in the colon than there are cells in the human body. In killing all these bacteria, the residue of the antibiotic completely disrupts the intestinal flora. The proposed solution comes in the form of tiny capsules that are taken with the antibiotic to neutralize its residues. The capsules dissolve and release the absorbent element only when they get to the colon. It acts a bit like a sponge. It's something we take with the antibiotic and, when it reaches the colon, absorbs all the antibiotic residues so that this antibiotic excess doesn't disturb the intestinal flora. The new medicine has successfully passed two clinical trials and will soon be tested on patients.